Welcome everyone, this is Tesco Makas That Gamer, and we're playing Amnesia Justine, the standalone 45 minute to an hour long Amnesia DLC. Uh, good of you to come. This time will be a trial of character. Expansion, I guess, more than DLC, really. Bear in mind, death is final, nothing will be saved, so if I die, I'm dead for good. Oh boy, I don't like that. Because, to be honest, I wasn't really good at escaping monsters all the time in Amnesia. We'll see how this rolls, I guess. Come on, wake up, you need to get going. So basically, this is made to be beaten in one go, it sounds like. Uh, yes, I will suck my aesthetic gamer profile. Um, everything looks about good. Is my, you know, my mass density went back down. Set that to 3.4. Also, turn off mouse smoothing, I hate that. Let's go straight into... Amnesia Justine. Start a new game, of course. Into the hole. Which means crevices ourselves right into here. Just gotta wait for it to load. The controls were reversed there for a second. She's kind of moving on her own right now, so here we are. So there's a gramophone to play with a rope attached, along with being attached to the door, so yeah, yeah. Well, nothing to do but to open this door, I guess. Or actually, I guess mess around with the gramophone. Maybe messing with the gramophone will open the door, though. Bienvenue. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Okay. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. So, basically, there's going to be people which I can either save or not. Locked firmly. Um, I'm probably going to end up killing everybody, but sure, let's see what happens. Can I wind this up more? Double lantern. There he goes. That unlocked the door. Yeah, that unlocked the door. Don't have any oil though, so not really much of a use to, to yeah, because that's diminished, which means let's go through. Sounds like this is a tribute of us trying to figure out morality grounds. Puzzle solving, maybe. We'll go though. I'll go forward. There's things to push around, I guess. To the left or to the right? I'll glance over here first. We came from there. Got a little bit tip turned around, if I'll be honest. But I'll check over here first. Oh, wait, no, is this where I started? This is where I think I started from. Well, I'll find out in a second when I end up in the room. This is where I started from. This is where I started from. I got so turned around. That's unfortunate. Let's move on back then. Listen to all those groanings and creakings, the old castle shakes. Okay, so. There is a left and there is a right. The right is a bit more meaty, but the left is enticing. Monster doing monster things. I'll try and sneak regardless. I'll go this way. Now, apparently, this has one life to go. I don't know how that works exactly, but I'll take a look around and figure it out. I feel like I should explore a bit more before I start going here. Ah, <sighs> whatever, I'll check this area out, then I'll go back if I need to. So exploration, take my toe. Oh, tinderbox. I mean, that's not tinderboxes, that's a bottle can be destroyed. That means it's not important. That, or was important, I shattered my chances at saving somebody. And remember, this is different than the regular Amnesia. 
I bet I just screwed my channel away, but there's something else here that's a healing item. Alright. Open up all the gates, listen to more monsters play piano like the experts they are playing piano, and live in this torture chamber the rest of my life. There's some fun noises coming near me. It's not me though, so I guess I should run over here and see if there's anything to see. Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would He would like it and be much obliged if oh, is he okay? Help me. I can do that. Oh. Of course there's a monster here. Uh Can you hear me? It's not too late to set things right. The lever probably is in the way of saving it's something to do with the padlock. Goddamn monster, we're gonna throw this box at you. Oh, he didn't like that. Didn't like that one bit. Oh, Jesus. Fucking slow down and screwed me over there. Fucking god damn it. Well, there went my one life. It's alright. And that just completely closed the game. Okay, so be a bit cautious. I was just wanting to do that for science, though. I don't think he liked the box much either. Doesn't seem a fan. Well, here we go again. Here we go again. Press and continue to live with my bestest friend. No, I didn't break the game, I just closed the game. That's why I went to a black screen. Select there. Start a new game. Yes. Open up the door. Wake yourself up again. Get yourself back up, girl. We got this. motion back into motion. Play this cassette again. Bienvenue. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. Okay. I bid you welcome. I'll sneak around regardless. Remember, there's a monster around here. This time I go to the right first. Before I go to the left, see what the right takes me to. And the answer is a dead end, so happy to get that out of the way. Chilly wind is chilly as can be. Jeez, I guess we go forward over here. Now we see the monster up here. Doing monstery things indeed. I went to the right last time, right? I did go this direction last. I'm actually gonna go to the left first this time. Just to see if there's anything. Never know, might be something or another waiting for me here. Oh, like this. Picked up broken ladder. Might need that later. That's fine, that's fair. Let's uh, open up the door and see where it goes. I'm gonna use the broken ladder Try and make progress here. I will also close the door behind me this time in case it's where the monster came from. I don't think it's where it came from, but maybe it was. I'll look around and see if I get myself, for stars this healing drink. Yep, healing drink is my goal. It's a good goal, if I may mention. I don't really know what that even is. I won't mess with it until I know if I need it or not. The monster loves playing piano, playing his magical instruments again. Opening up a few doors, and the monster shows up, which is now a new or a new plan. Lee 22 April 1858. 
Solution Inspector Merritt and the SRU, as you well know, the Chief of Police in Callis has turned down my request to pursue Justine Corbell for stealing my son away. Ever since their affair started, uh, Lois, my son, has forsaken his duties to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the law seems unable to find a crime within the realm of men of Mazel's Justine's actions, I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fournier's lair this week. He's a respectable alien site, an expert in the human psyche, and he believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. If he, if he is able to diagnose her as an hysteric, it will provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you and your agency will not turn us down. Cordelette Lucien Racine, which is probably the woman that we had the recording from, so yeah. Let's try and sneak out, because the beast is among us. There it is. I should probably get out of the dark. I should probably get into the dark more like it. This allows me and my monster keep a good old diverse side from each other like this. One of the padlock can be destroyed by something easily. Don't pull the lever, obviously. That would cause the obstacle we want to happen to happen. Good, the monster went along his merry way. I'll open this up and explore a bit more. There's an old book and an old sounds going for it now. It's a shackle. I'm going to try and destroy the lock. Because obviously pulling the lever is going to like make spikes go up into him or something weird like that. As life has taught me. Help me! Please! Help me! Well, that wasn't the answer, but hey, something like that maybe. Right in my inventory. Broken ladder, Ladine, lamp with no oil. I'll continue looking. I think the monster came from this cage. Yes, it looks like it. Billet, or Docs, Justine, my love. I know I am not as talented as Mallow or Astron. I was clapping. Or Astron as Belsie, but I am certain my love is truer. Do not. Do my scars not tell you so? I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Bastley if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the Brahmai. Poor Justine, I'll help you. Just ask for me for help. Yeah, yeah. Forgive me with a handprint. Hmm. So, very... What the fuck is following me that's making that noise? Was that... Very obviously, we don't want to pull the lever. The lever is obviously the quote-unquote bad answer. Can you hear me? So, look around and see if we can solve this. Got to have a lantern yet. So I'm saying rocks to pick up or anything. We certainly seem to be able to hear what's inside the cells we pass by. There's actually an entrance here that I'm attention. Will not budge. Anyone there? Yes, I am here, but give me a little bit, sir. You have to work with me here. I'm trying hard to find you a way to break that open. And these don't seem to be doing much good. And you need something heavier to break it or a key or something. What's in here? A little hissing cockroach is having a good time. Hmm. There must be a key somewhere. Maybe I can use the broken ladder piece over here on this. I don't know how it would work. Okay, I hoped. Maybe this barrel will break this open. Just jump up and down on it. I am Justine. At least I think I'm Justine. Have you seen Justine? Give me a second, sir. I'm really trying to figure this out. Um, I'm trying to save him. But maybe I just have to pile a shit ton on here. It doesn't have to be pressured down when things sit on top of it. Maybe if I just pile a lot on top of it, it'll be good. Help me! Please, help me! I'm trying science right now, sir. Give me a bit of time. Saving you takes time and effort, because I'm pretty sure the lever is going to ban you, or damn you, or whatever. Not really ban you, unless of course you mean ban you from life. Actually, is there anything up? 
Uh, doing a balancing act. There we go. Okay. No. Hmm. How do I get said lock open? It's probably using a ladder on it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Pulling the lever is obviously a bad, 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 bad idea. That'll probably pierce the thing into his heart. Will not budge. Hmm. Then I guess I should investigate these cells one more time, see if there's nothing I'm missing. I don't see much here. Can I pull the bed aside? Can I can pull the mattress aside. Not really the bed, though. There's nothing under it, though. I mean, I guess this is a bucket, which might break a lock better than a box would. Can you hear me? It's not too late to set things right. Yes, I am trying, sir. Okay. It's not my box tower, unfortunately, though that was a cool idea while it lasted. Mm. Oh, wait. There is a rock here. My rock idea works. Usually, when you, you only think break a lock, I guess the rocks are the Bane a few times the rock, sir. If you can't hear me doing this, you're very deaf, or they, maybe they stuffed your ears full of something. Uh, pull at it until it dies. Well, I'll look around a bit more. What do you guys think we're supposed to do to try and get this open? I'm thinking, trying ideas, but so far not finding a lot to work with. Oh. Is there something there? Seems like a hole at the moment, but whatever. I remember there is a weak wall here. Hmm. How did you escape? Not like this, apparently. I do actually. There's a platform beef ahead above us, and I do have a ladder piece. Let me look. Have you seen Justine? There's a hatch up there. No object to use the item on. Help me! Please help me! Give me a second, sir. I have an idea. Good there. Give me a second to make my box tower up to this. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, that good? No, that's not good. Uh... Uh-huh. Ta-da! Up to the top I go. I'll come back for him if I find something up here. I hope this ain't crawling on the vents. I feel like this might be too much effort to get this working, but hey, I'll go continue. That's an unfortunate dead end. Uh, I saw something to pick up, though. I keep on seeing something to pick up, but I keep on barely missing it, apparently. I'm just gonna mash the mouse button until I find it. Oh, wait, wait, it's there. I can barely see it. It's a fucking pebble. Well, whatever! It's better than nothing! I'll throw it at the monster if it comes at me. Excuse me, dweller. I'll go this way. See, I'm going down. 
Maybe I can't save the guy anymore. Maybe I went too far. But I didn't kill him at the very least. There's no cylinder in this photograph. Well, I guess if I find a cylinder, I'll know what to do. Until then, I'll continue moving forward. Left, right, all such inconvenient directions. Won't budge, so it claims. Let's continue, I'll let my natural actions take their course. That's a tool. That's a picture of a gremlin or an old man. That's a face. That's a fire. Touching it burns. I'm not throwing stuff in it though. There's a note. Newspaper article 19 March 1858. Traversed thee at the conservatory. Many Parisians have gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin uh, by Tricio Malo di Vinghi, who was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet, but the evening took an unexpected turn. Dun dun dun! Young Malo di Vinci turned up visibly intoxicated, his violin cried as the bow and jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song, the Rose of Toulouse The stress apparently got the best of the young musician, he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. Mademoiselle Justine Florbel, who is, according to rumors, romantically involved in Monsieur de Vinci, looked quite amused by the events and had two of her friends, Mazuel Gorex and Alois Ratchian, carry him off the stage. The evening was saved by other musicians at the conservatory, who was able to perform a most delightful impromptu concert in Malo de Vinci's absence. The audience showered their saviors with praise, and calls for encore were awarded with spectacular pieces by both Offbant and Chopin. Well, it seems like we are not the best of people. It seems like we're one of those types that like to mess around with things when we're not really welcome, but whatever the case. Open up that and continuing. I'm spending it. Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. He was a friend, and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Alright, well, onward we continue then. Didn't say anything of importance there, so I'll continue deeper into the abyss. I'll just let whatever happens, happens. I'll try to save people, but you know, if something like that occurs, then whatever. Moving on. This is the blind playthrough, after all. Not the let's save all people playthrough, but yeah, yeah. This is obviously based on a little monster, an experience of choice, or if you can or can't do certain things. Library. I'm sure, I'll go to the library. The downstairs library still reminded her of a father. All those hours spent in. There, Finn fostered a sense of shelter. Well, this looks nice. Is that a fucking mannequin? I think that's a fucking mannequin. Well, that's a little bit creepy, but sure. Let's play this through. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. Sure. Open this up. I still don't have any oil. But now I have some tinder boxes. It's okay, I'm used to the dark. What's this? Picked up slide two. So far, a bigger puzzle. Let's go through here and investigate. Nothing else really here. I'll go back out. I'm not going to light that, that'd be a waste. Let's go over here then. A lot of candles lit in this one. Still glancing. A note and another slide. That is slide one. Before I read the note, I'm going to open up all the drawers. Ah, more tinder boxes. I ended up, I ended the original game with over 70 tinder boxes, and I had like over 16 vials of oil, but I ended up using a lot of them during the ending sequences. Uh, Break that, and let's read this note. 
results. The tests have been going well. The most long term, and in a sense the most promising one, is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day, is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters in just about anything, and she's able to effortlessly reduce all her experiences into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock is proving more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides of the character facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I am asking. So basically the clue is two characters facing each other. Maybe she just likes eye contact. Or closeness or something. Anyways, we got a left and a right. I'll try both. That's the pain that was all over the main game. Open this. And this looks more like a library than any of the rooms I've been in so far, so yeah. I Tinder boxes. Actually, was this the library from the main game? It certainly looks like it's designed after at the very least. There's slide three. There must be at least four slides then. I'll collect them. This is not the library from the main game, but it does look a bit like it, so yeah, yeah. Probably the last slide is in the last room and then the projector is somewhere over there. It'll be my presumption, but we'll find out if I'm right or wrong just a little bit. Huh. That's a new picture. There's also a new note here. Soul Journal Entries. Justine, age 8. Today I played outside with Claris. We saw a bird pick at the snail. It carried it off in the land and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had its shell and it cracked. Claris cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Claris for playing with me. The bird took off with, into the air. Today I was the one with open arms. Justine, age 9. Today I played with these slides from Father's light box. Above all, I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I said, he sees things he likes. Today I was the right one. Yeah, okay, that was another clue for obviously for this puzzle coming up. Justine, age 10. Father said I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry. Yeah, he wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. Justine, age 11. Today Father came for my room. I still couldn't look him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed and that I only tried to fill the void left by my, my mother. When he wasn't looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today I was the one with the sword. My poetic rhyme for what, 10, 9 to 11 year old? Uh, yeah. who, who are you? Who's there? It's another case where obviously I do You're not bad. lever easily. You're bad. Give me a second. A frame stencil with the silhouette of a man. A frame stencil with the silhouette of a man. Oh, silhouette of a man. Can I learn more about them possibly? I guess I okay. need to get a projector. So, yeah. I going on over here. I guess we have to find a projector to be able to solve this appropriately. That or I'll just skip over everyone again. Okay, the monster's not going to burst through there. Alas. Let me glance through here. I'm just looking for... Oh, this is the projector, obviously. Well, give me a second. Just glancing around. needs a light like that to work, which I guess is why they give me so many tinder boxes. Okay, so start off with slide one. No object to use item on. Yes, there is definitely an item to use the object on. I guess I can click the right area. That is a man. Um, just a man facing to the left, it looks. So this is man facing to the left. Slide two. This man with the sword facing to the left. Slide three is man weeping over. Right, that might be one, might be addressed to the right. Slide four is man standing to the right. Okay. So I really like man. Me liking man standing to the right doesn't mean that's what it needs to be. I think it's man standing to the right, man with the sword. This is man with the sword. So I'm gonna put. Four and two in. I could very well be wrong with my. Is I, I could look read and read these more, but I'm just gonna kind of go with my spontaneous answer and see if it actually has anything. So. Twisted child. Let's put four in, and let's put two in. Let's hope this is the right combination, or else he's gonna burn. <laughs> 
Did my work well. He's fine. He's fine. I find him and he's dead. Now where do I go from here? Sounds like the monster's trying to get in, but hey, monster can't get in so easily. Let's glance around. If I were to make my grand escape, that's just a book pull off the shelf, not like a secret hidden bookcase or anything. I have a lantern still, but I still have no. Oh, here we go. The bookcase is opened over here. Well, can go further on down. Probably because I made my choice. So what do you have to say here about this person? I'm not saving anyone, it seems, at least in this first run. Uh, uh, there we go. I'll go to this angle, it'll be easier. I wonder, is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry, I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Saves us from trying. I guess that makes sense. Uh, not really. I mean, I wasn't was something up there. No, it's just the lighting. Let's open this up. And here we are in a bigger chamber. Ah, sure, I'll eye around it. Oh, well, that's just the wind acting up. Breath of there's the monster. Actually, to be frank, I don't know where the monster is, but we definitely heard him. So time to sneak around with our potatoes. Yeah, there he is, I see him. It's okay, my sanity is crystal clear. As long as we and I keep up this relationship and train through things, then we'll be fine. I'm just thinking back here if you need me. This monster seems a lot. This is why it's sort of meant by the dumb monster AI. Could have clearly probably had seen me right then, but yeah. I... Whatever the case, it's not like it's bad. I'll keep on moving forward. See what's here in the dark besides chairs that I can just barely scoop between. What sees me? Oh, that feels like that was a scripted see you moment because I was right next to the door. Just you was not a person you worked to go about planting. The cabinet came about as her whimsy flight with other people in moist fortune. I'll play this now. I'm sure you have figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to waste any of my dinner boxes on those candles. We're going underwater. Looks like things to pull. I'm looking though. Assumingly... There's another puzzle here to save somebody or another. I'll first check this area. A lot of doors will open. I mean, it looks like the wire room. Got the lever. And that triggered the monster, we all should have known. Fortunately, it's gonna be sort of hard to sneak around. You'd think you're splashing around the wire all the time. Alas. The lever obtained, so we can try and find another way through. It's 
me go over here. So here are the cackles of the monster. I'm just going to try and sneak by. My goal right now is survival, not saving everybody. This is where the lever obviously goes. Before I put the lever where it obviously goes, let me look around a bit more. So who knows what that lever might activate or whatever. There's another pathway over here which hasn't even been ventured yet. So that's where I'm going to first check out. But the door is locked. So alas, I guess it's time to now open that. What is this? Oh, just a barrel that looks kind of boring because it's going blue. The lever to operate the door is missing. Oh, ta-da! That door over there sounds like it opens. Does you know where I am? Okay, can it go? Oh, yeah, there he is. I see him. I'll close this door behind me. Hide to the best of my ability. Except there's nowhere to hide. God fuck man, this might be my deathbed. Try and sneak past these. Yeah. Well, that was that. I guess we're gonna move on to some.